<laughs> All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to sound like Jace. Let's get to this shit, bro. I'm gonna show you the raw vocals, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how they sound mixed with this preset. Now, P.S. This preset is completely free, bro. I'm literally giving it away, but all I'm gonna ask for you to do, go in the description and download my free artist gift package. You can see in the description what it comes with. It's completely free download. All I get in return is just your email. And yeah, it's a win-win for the both of us. I'm gonna show you in this video how to sound like Jace. So that's it. That's all there is to it, bro. So let's let's get these raw vocals going, bro. Let's see how this shit sound. Uh, me crazy, but that's the reason we made you. I ain't gonna let no one hate you. Okay, so they're kind of mid, but the reason that they sound fine is because of my recording preset. Besides the point, I'm gonna show you how to touch this up. I'm gonna go through every effect and let's get to it. So now all my lead vocals, like the ones that I'm actually singing on, are linked to a separate track from this one, this one. So I'm gonna go through this main one and then I'll just show you how to tweak the main one so that you can make it into your like ad lib one and the uh, cool like gated effect that he does. So first thing that I have on is an auto tune. Now a lot of people can Get confused about what to do with their auto tune. I'm gonna show you the perfect effects to use, but the thing is, is if you're not as good at singing, you can tweak it a little bit, and I'm gonna show you how. Just make sure you tweak it to your vocals because we don't want our vocals to be sounding fucking brick, all because we have bad auto tune and we're off key. Like, that's just a fucking disaster. So, what I have here is I have a 10 retune speed, a zero flex tune, and a 10 humanize. Now, the 10 retune speed, if you turn this up, it's going to auto tune me a lot faster. It's gonna sound like like t-pain or some shit like it's just gonna sound very auto tune y so i like to just have it a little bit down because if you listen to jace he does it his voice isn't that auto tune like it's there but he knows how to sing so i don't have it to zero like i would normally do just because i like to have a little bit of softness to the auto -tune. i don't know how to explain it it's kind of weird explanation but yeah if you turn this down you'll be off key less so if you can't sing just turn this to like zero and you'll be like you will be telling whatever. Uh, then the 10 humanized. I'm not gonna go and explain. All right, camera battery died. I don't know why. Fucking retarded camera, but whatever. Yeah, I don't. I don't really care to explain what this does. Just copy it, and you'll sound good. Make sure you change the key. Make sure you change the detune. If you don't know how to do that, look it up. Second thing I have is an EQ, and it looks like this. So I have a high pass that's cutting 200 hertz because anything below this is just dog shit. We don't want it in our vocals. It's just muddy as fuck. I have a slight cut here because if you listen to your vocals. Vocals. you're gonna hear like a boxy sound in this area and it just doesn't sound too good then i have two strict cuts and i'm gonna show you the frequencies that i'm cutting here let's get this shit going baby you know you made me better so if you listen to your vocals you'll probably hear the same frequency it might not be this exact spot because our voices are different but just find this frequency and cut it and then same with this frequency find this frequency and cut it let's get this shit going baby you know you made me baby that one's pretty shit so cut it down and then I have a low pass on my seventh band. I have it cutting at 17k. And then I have a slight, like a very little boost on the high end. Now, without the CQ, it'll sound like this. Let's get this shit going, baby. Let's get this shit going, baby. So it's kind of just getting rid of the low ends. Then I have a compressor, ratio of five, threshold of negative 21, and a gain of 10. You can just copy this for whatever compressor you use. It's just making sure that the quiet parts of our voice are louder than they actually are. And then when we get too loud, it's going to crunch them down to the same volume of when our low points are it's just kind of evening out your vocals so that you're not screaming and then it's getting really loud and then you're whispering and then it's really quiet it's just making it a little bit more consistent the fourth thing i have is an eq now this eq is what we call a subtractive eq what i'm doing here is i've searched my entire vocal for frequencies that i don't like the sound of and i just take them and cut them down now you need to be careful so that you don't go too wide like this because that sounds like ass and you also don't want to go too deep because you can really kill your vocals from this so just be careful with what you do but like i said just turn it all the way up like this roll around on your vocal this is called frequency sweeping and then just turn them down you gonna drive me crazy but that's the reason we made you let's get this shit going baby let's get this so shit bad. going baby Get this, get, going, shit, you know, let's get this shit going, baby. Let's get this shit going, baby. I don't like that one. I'm gonna get rid of it. And just remember when EQing and mixing in general, the small tweaks are going to make a huge difference in the end. So just be careful with what you're doing because you do not want to kill your vocals. Let's get this shit going, baby. You know you man. And now the fifth thing I have is a de-esser. Now I have it in the 5500 range, but just find with an EQ where your ranges are for your essing 
Uh, it's typically going to be in this area. It just depends on your vocals, obviously. If you're a woman, uh, I don't, you're not really going to sound like Jason. But if you're a woman, it's going to probably be higher. Like when my girl talks, she's like, yes. So like high pitched. I don't know how to explain it. But like, yeah, just use an EQ and figure out where your S's are in your vocals and then turn them down. But don't do it too much because like I said, if you do it too much, it's just going to make your vocals sound like ass. And then I have another compressor. Now, you may be wondering if you're like not totally into vocal mixing like why we have two compressors i don't know either now obviously just kidding king sunlight knows everything that there is to vocal mixing i've been doing this shit since 1792 the reason i have two compressors is because i like the way that it sounds uh it just it just, it just makes it sounds more professional i don't know how to explain it like i can show you without let's get this shit going baby you know you made me baby whoa bro that's it makes it louder i guess is what i mean it does sound it sounds better yeah it sounds brighter i guess I like just just add another compressor play with the threshold play with the ratio and you're probably wondering why it's a different compressor i don't know i just i just picked two compressors like honestly bro who cares what the fuck you do with your vocal mix as long as it sounds good am i right bro next effect i have is another frequency sweep but this one you gotta make sure that you do this one because otherwise your vocals are gonna sound like ass so this one i do the the normal like what i did before so we turn it up and we find the bad frequencies let's get this shit going baby like you one. know you made me let's get this shit going let's get this shit going baby that one's really harsh. Let's get this shit going, baby. That one's. Let's get this shit going. So harsh, bro. Fuck those frequencies. They hurt my head. Now, the one important thing that you need to make sure that you do, take this right here and just turn it down. Cause Jace has very warm sounding vocals. They're not harsh. They're not very clarity. Like there's not a lot of clarity in them. Like, of course they stand out from the mix and they are very well mixed. They are not very high in the high ends. Like I can show you the difference. Let's get this shit going, baby. You know you made me, baby. Just makes it way warmer. It makes it sound way better. So keep this shit here, bro. And I have a flange just so you can, you don't even really need this i have it on some weird preset you can just copy it but this is what it sounds like if you don't turn it down here let's get this shit going baby then i turn it down let's get this shit going baby you know you made me baby i know you then a reverb i just turn the separation to the left a little bit you turn the low cut up and then just normal whatever and then make sure you turn it down because you don't want it like this let's get this shit going you don't want it way too muddy so we gotta turn it down and then a signature thing that jace does is he goes into the convolver we turn self convolver all the way up we turn stretch all the way way up we find this one right here imp library sideways underscore back and then when we sing you're actually gonna hear it at that right there does that um reverse ghost effect just like an old slay world effect but he still does it but that's how you do that now on to these other things so this one right here uh in the intro of this song he did this where he just started it out with the the convolver so like right off the bat i have it convolving so on this i just have the convolver all the way turned up because that's just what he has his in the song doing so if you listen it starts right away right away does the convolver and then he has this effect right here so i'll show you now i wasn't like i didn't take a lot of time to figure out how exactly he does it but the only thing i can really assume is that he takes a fruity uh no not not a fruity uh a, just a regular gross beat and he puts it on uh a gate like this and it'll sound like this now mine is kind of off right here because i just didn't fuck with it but i feel like you could probably do this exact same effect if you just do what i did but just tweak it a little bit better so it sounds like this okay so mine's kind of just off sync more than anything you could fix it if you do it and then the last thing i have is i'm gonna consider it the ad libs mine aren't ad libs mine's just layering where i'm doing a harmony but all that i did on this was i duplicated the preset so like when you have the main preset you just hold down this and you drag it to another one and and then you route the other vocals to what you want to route, like wherever you dragged it on. And then for all I did for the ad libs is just turn up the flanges. It's not exactly how he does it, but cry me a fucking river, bro. Beggars cannot be choosers, and I'm giving this shit away for free, so fucking suck my dick, bro. But then all together, this is how it sounds. Let's go, let's go. Let's get this shit going, baby. You know you made me, baby. I know you gon' drive me crazy, but that's the reason we made you. I ain't gonna let no one hate you. For you got some shooters at
grateful 